What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about Kana Bridge of Spirits one year update one more time. Just because it's coming out on Tuesday, and I'm getting to that point. You guys may know if you watch a lot of videos from me, I tend to get really, really excited, maybe overly excited, uh, as we get really close to things releasing. So, Kana, I believe it celebrated its one year birthday a few days ago. Um, it actually, this one year update is about a week or so late from the actual one year anniversary, but it comes out on Tuesday. It's also also coming out on Steam on Tuesday. It was on Windows last year. And with its release on Steam is also going to come the update, the one-year update. And this will also come to PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. And this is basically going to add a new game plus and, and a variety of other things. I've actually talked about what specifically it includes on my second channel a few weeks back. So if you guys want to check it out, I can always link that at the end of this video. But I'm really excited. I beat this game when it had come out. They had provided me a code actually back a year ago. So I played a little bit earlier. Early, and I really loved this game quite a bit. And you may know, you know, if you watched me last year, you know, really last summer into last September, I was riding high on this game. I really have been excited for this game uh, back when it was first announced. It was probably my kind of go-to indie game that I was really looking forward to with Ember Lab. And this is their first, you know, basically stab at it. And I really liked the game. I did a review last year, and uh, I, th I think the game is phenomenal. I've been wanting to go back to it. I think this one, or this reason, I should say, is a pretty good reason, right? Because with New Game Plus comes the things you would expect from a lot of games, uh, New Game Plus. But the things that they also add in terms of new enemy types, bosses are going to have more stages. That's the stuff that I love. And that does not happen with every New Game Plus. I would probably consider that to be like a rarity um, in the gaming industry. It has happened before, but I... I love the idea of, you know, when you beat the game and you go back, and especially because it's a year later, right? I haven't touched this game in truly uh, over a year. I get to go back and not only experience the story again one more time, but, well, firstly, I get to keep everything that I got, you know, going through the game, so it may be easier in that way, but I also get to experience it in a different way than I did the first time. And anytime I think you can make that possible in any game, is a win. I, I really just like the idea of going through it and just these small tweaks of enemies and, and, and the fighting patterns that the enemies have and the bosses. I really like it. I also think I remember in terms of the update, they're going to let you specifically replay bosses. So if you only want to just say replay one boss fight, the boss fights are kind of like listed and you just pick and you go right into it. And it's going down kind of the Hades path too, where there's like charms where it'll buff you in some ways and debuff you in other ways. So, you know, to me, I'm using this as a, for a couple different reasons, right? It's been a while and I've, I've always liked this game quite a bit before it came out. And then when it came out, it actually, uh, lived up to my expectations so it's been a year i want to go back anyway and with this like kind of breath of fresh air there's even more reason to do so also the update is free so that's like kind of like a bonus reason you don't have to pay anything for it it's not like a ten dollar thing you just kind of get to jump back in but i would say for those that want to play it even more or experiment those you know the, the kind of buffs debuffs to be honest with you, I don't even think I'll end up using them. Uh, and it's because, you know, the reasons I'm going back to play this game are what I just said. I don't necessarily even care, but that doesn't mean they're not important. And I do think that they add that extra, just an extra kind of value to it. New outfits to for Kana, um, awesome. I mean, I, I really, I want to just make this video just to, you know, in case people missed the, my video on the second channel. This game was great a year ago. I know it wasn't everybody's cup of tea. Um, I know some people said like it got boring towards the end or maybe the story was lacking. The story is probably the weakest part of this game by a lot. Kana is also probably one of the weakest parts of this game as well. Until the very end, I think she experiences like character growth. But to be honest with you, small game, small studio, one of the most visually breathtaking games, not like uh, The Last Was Part 2 or those like photo realistic things. I'm talking about just the actual shading and the art style that they use for this game looks, it really is incredible. And in my opinion, the gameplay is so overlooked. I think the gameplay in this game is phenomenal. I honestly was shocked it was as good as it was. And I would easily say besides the visual quality of the game, the gameplay is the second best thing about it, which going in, going into this game, I was worried about the gameplay because we didn't see too much of it. Uh, and of course, gameplay can look one way and feel another way. But I was blown away by how good, how actual eh, kind of heavy, but also very detailed um, the gameplay actually was. So if you didn't play it a year ago, I guess more of a reason to play it now. I don't think anything's going to change. Like if you didn't like it, 
I don't see why you would now. But for those that, you know, did like it, I think this update is very much worth it. At least for me, it's worth jumping back in simply to not only relive it one more time, but to relive it somewhat differently because of the new additions to the story that only happens in New Game Plus. Again, I, I really love that, and they deserve a pat on the back for even including something like that. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you guys are subscribed. Bell icon turned on. I will be playing it, and if you guys want me to cover it, I can definitely make a video or two on the game next week. Again, it comes out next Tuesday, and I hope to see you all on the next video.